the 7-Eleven coffee is <clears throat> not good. What have you been up to lately? Have you done some thrifting? Because I have. <laughs> Technically, I've been window shopping. Like, I haven't actually been thrifting. But I've spent a lot of time scrolling on Etsy. Do you want to know a secret? I didn't know that Etsy is a place to go for online thrifting. Don't sue me. Now, one of the challenging things with online thrifting is that it's kind of like it's a continuous search. You might have an idea of what it is that you want, but because they are vintage items or retro, old, whatever items, you might not be able to find the right one. I've been searching for a very particular item for a year. And I, I think I saw something like one time and I didn't buy it, which is kind of <laughs> the curse of thrifting because if you see something and you don't buy it, 90% chance that someone else is gonna get it before you. I don't remember if that was the case with this particular item that I saw ages ago, but I just haven't found the right one until like last week. And shout out to my fam. <laughs> my family actually sorted it out for me because if you didn't know, I'm in Japan right now. I'm an exchange student, but <laughs> even though I'm on the other side of the world, I'm still like looking for a good deal and I've secured it so I'm super excited so if you're curious and you want to know what it is I mean, just like just stick around and you'll see but that kind of just illustrates how it can take a long time to actually find what it is that you're looking for just like some people have preferences in terms of clothing I totally have preferences in terms of interior design and furniture I'm really into chairs and I'm really into lamps I don't know why those two items are appealing to me, but there's something about vintage lamps that really gets me going and I love a good chair. If I had had the space and the money um, to just have a bunch of chairs, I probably would. I don't know what it is, but I really like it. This is my preference. And so today I thought we will look at lamps. So one of the type of lamps that I'm currently really obsessed with is a swivel lamp or like a wall hanging lamp, not a sconce but a sw swivel swirl swivel? does that make sense have you seen this lamp before have you seen it i feel like when i came across this lamp was when my obsession kind of started or not like obsession but definitely my inspiration because it kind of dawned on me like wow this is an opportunity why have i never thought of this i don't want this particular lamp i think it's cool one of my friends actually just bought it i think it's really really sick lamp i want a much smaller one but the concept of a swivel wall hanging lamp stuck with me it's practical because you can move it around it frees up space on the floor and they're really beautiful and cool to look at if you saw my video on uh trendy versus timeless uh, where i kind of talk about postmodernism over the last couple years postmodernism have totally resurfaced and i can see that a lot of items that are currently trending are either postmodern or they're inspired by postmodernism both in terms of design the style the colors and all of that and looking through my my lamp selection <laughs> it's very postmodern for instance there is this brand called guzzini which is an italian i'm pretty sure don't quote me but i'm pretty sure guzzini uh meblo guzzini is a, like an italian design firm and they were popping in the 70s now they have a couple different ones that i'm just i absolutely love it like look at this one it's so cool i don't know what it is about the guzzini lamps but they have this shape which i'm i'm so into they're structurally really beautiful i love the glass and the color from the glass i also am really into chrome at the moment and i have been for the last couple like the last two years i've been really into chrome and something about the shape that i think is super fun it's really fun like it's eye-catching and when it comes to lamps i think they are a great way to incorporate some color especially if your color palette at home is a little bit basic a little bit bland i'm not saying it is a bad thing but you, maybe you've chosen the more of the bigger items you've chosen are a little bit more just like safer options then i think that vintage lamps are such a great way of stepping out of your comfort zone finding some alternative designs that can bring a pop like this one bring a pop of color eye-catching moment it kind of looks like a berry or something or a flower it's so weird but it's so cool here's another fun space age lamp this is like 
probably color wise doesn't fit in my apartment but if you had a very plain apartment this would be really cool i also think this would have been really cool to have in a bathroom this is another one that i'm really into um is a wall hanging sconce for candles the first time i saw this was when i was in sweden this spring one of my favorite vintage shops is called no name vintage it's in gothenburg in sweden you should totally go there if you're ever in gothenburg this was the first time i saw this particular item and I remember thinking to myself that they were freaking cool. And I really like the idea of incorporating a sconce that is for candles. Because I, I spoke about it in one of my earliest videos, but let's be real. <laughs> it was a little bit cringe because I still, and I still don't know what I'm doing, but I think it's very important to diversify your lighting and that doesn't only mean in different type of lamps but also different type of light sources. It helps create a really nice ambiance and there's nothing more sad than a room that only has one light source and so by incorporating different styles, different um, light sources, different levels, that's why I also really like these floor lamps. It just helps create a feeling in a room that is a little bit more inviting than just a cold, harsh bulb, whatever. I like these candles, candle, like wall candles. This is a Swedish design though, and I'm sure it would be possible to find something cheaper, but I quite like this style. So that's something that I'm actively looking for. I also like the idea of having, um, you know, if you have a kitchen, you're doing a kitchen upgrade, and you wanna have the hanging lamps over your countertop, I really like the idea of having vintage hanging lamps. Here are two ones that I think are really cool. Again, it's got the chrome, but the use of chrome and then black, I feel like they are timeless. Quotation marks, of course, because nothing's really timeless, but they're pretty neutral, but they still have a bit of flair to them. And I think that's one of the reasons that I really like vintage lamps in general. It's just because they provide a bit of flair, a bit of like excitement they're a bit of like almost like an art piece themselves especially also if you have a very modern home i think it's fun to incorporate some vintage lamps to kind of balance out the modern vibe because it can kind of be a little bit boring if everything is modern and new and up to date i'm also really obsessed with these eyeball lamps i think they're really cool i'm kind of like to be fair i'm kind of scared of showing you all the items that i'm loving at the moment because <laughs> there's one lamp in particular that i'm wanting to buy so I'm not going to show it because if you like it too you potentially buy it before me and that would be sad so <laughs> is that selfish is that weird anyway I find these like eyeball lamps really cool I think they're really fun and you can have it both as a floor lamp or as a sconce and I think this would be perfect like next to an artwork in front of an artwork or something or as like next to your bed and here you can get the combination of the swivel lamp and the eyeball lamp, which I also think is really cool. Recently, I've been really into these more structural kind of lamps. This is um, this is from Holland. This is from Holland. I need to go to Holland to buy lamps. This would be perfect on top of a credenza or like in your bookshelf, or if you have a desk. I love this. I also like that you can move them, the stem, or is it called a stem? You can move the lamp up or down so you can kind of change it depending on your needs. I like the idea of changing the, you know, the boob light? Do you have the boob light? Usually in the hallway or somewhere, you have a ceiling lamp and it's more often than not got a really boring cover or glass or whatever, I don't know the English word. And so I'm really into the idea of changing the one that I have. I don't have a picture of it, but it's it's freaking boring. And so I came across this one, which is like a Leclint vintage paper kind of cover, which I found really cool. If not, I'm heavily considering Murano one. Do you picture? I know I'm a little bit too obsessed with some of these um, vintage designs, but I don't care. It's my life, my house. I do whatever I want. You don't have to. Uh, like obviously don't think that you need any of this because to be happy you don't need things but I like things so now this lamp I feel like would suit literally every home this is so chic it's classic it's got such a sleek nice design I have a space in my home where this would look perfect but vintage design is expensive 
And so I feel like I'm just gonna I'm gonna stop here and just kind of leave it like this. Please just consider this as inspiration. I I recognize that some of these prizes they're they're a little bit steep, okay? But I do just love looking, you know, window shopping online good it's good it's fun and i hope that you might feel inspired to thrift some vintage lamps i just personally think that a vintage lamp just totally changes the space they make me smile i think they're fun and cool looking i'm very curious to see if my taste is going to stay the same in the coming year or if it's going to change drastically like who knows but I hope you felt a little bit inspired and that you're excited for my upcoming room makeover which shall come at the beginning of 2023 it sounds far away but it's not so you should totally just like stick around let's hang out again I look forward to seeing you next time